So for this easy Valentine's DIY embroidery, you're going to need a hoop, so I've got a small purple one here, an embroidery needle and some embroidery thread, and some felt sheets. So you want to unscrew your embroidery hoop and then place your felt onto it. So this is going to be like your background colour. So as you can see, I have chosen this kind of beige colour. And you want to pull it nice and tight and then screw your embroidery hoop shut as tight as possible and then you can go ahead and trim off any excess and make sure to leave around an inch or a couple of centimeters as we're going to need this for when we finish off the hoop towards the end of the video. Next you want to grab a piece of felt for your bear colour so I'm doing obviously a brown bear and I went ahead and just drew a bear freehand you can always print one out cut that out and then like draw around it kind of like a stencil or you can kind of trace one as well it's up to you so my bear has like quite a big head and these cute little ears and then it's got its small body and legs so at the moment we don't need any arms so he's going to be an armless poor little bear <laughs> just for now until we get him some paws in a little bit but yeah I basically drew a head under the ears and then I drew kind of like a um, an oval kind of shape without the bottom and the top, like two curved lines, then like a tiny mountain shape and then two circles for the feet. And then I connected the feet to the body with a couple more like horizontal diagonal lines <laughs> so yeah this is how the bear turned out and once you have drawn your armless bear you can go ahead and cut that out so i'm using i think they're called embroidery scissors actually or thread scissors something like that i have used different scissors in the past with felt and it hasn't really cut out very well so yeah uh, once you've got your bear you should have something that looks like this Next you want to go ahead and kind of start making his facial features and his paws. So I'm using the same colour as my background is. I don't have a lot of felt but this colour works well so I thought screw it I will use it. So I cut out like an oval kind of shape for his face and then I actually turned that over because that was the pencil side and then I put that down so make sure your pencil side is the back so you don't want to see any pencil marks if you're actually drawing on your felt and then I'm doing the paw pads here so you want to cut out some circles so you want kind of like two bigger circles for the main part of the foot and then like the three smaller ones so you can see that I've got the three smaller like paw pad things then you can go ahead and stick this all together so I am using this fabric glue and I forgot to say but I cut out like another brown piece for his nose um, I don't know where the footage for that went but there it is so yeah then I glued everything down it's really handy to have some tweezers especially working with the really small pieces I guess it depends on how big your like hoop is I think the hoop I have is around nine inches or so yeah something like that or maybe even six inches quite small but yeah it makes it cute so that's okay <laughs> and then you want to move on to drawing your heart so I grabbed this like triangular piece of pink that I have and I drew half a heart and folded it in half and then I cut around that half heart and basically this will give you a symmetrical heart so if you're not really good at drawing hearts this is like an easy cheat and there is the heart and it fits perfectly over his body so I wanted it to like cover up his body and then his paws are going to go on top so I did a similar thing for the paws I drew a paw shape out folded it in half and then cut around it so I had kind of like similar looking paws and like similar size paws and then once I'd cut around the paw shape I also cut this in half to give me two paws and then I rounded off the corners as I didn't really want them to be like rectangular I wanted them to kind of look rounded over the heart so yeah I went ahead and did that and just make sure that they like fitted on and I did end up trimming this paw because it was a bit wonky but yeah that's how it looked 
So then I went ahead and stuck this down. So if you're at this stage, you can go ahead and stick this on to like your background color. So throughout the whole video, I'm gonna be using this so simple fabric glue. I'm not sure what other glues work with felt as I'm not like I haven't worked with felt that much, but yeah, the fabric glue works fine. Then we can move on to doing some embroidery. So I'm going to thread my needle here. I've got three strands. Usually embroidery thread comes with like six strands, but if possible, you can kind of pull them apart. So you hold three in one hand and three in the other and like pull your thread apart. Otherwise it can be like quite thick. And then you want to go ahead. So I'm doing some embroidery for the ears. So my glue actually hadn't dried yet, so my bear came off a bit, but that's all right. It will, it will dry in time, so no worries. So once you've pulled th your like needle through the back for your first thread, you just want to go ahead and knot it. So I knotted this quite a lot. I was worried it would like pull through. So I think I did like four or five. Yeah, so once you've knotted it, you can pull that too. And I'm doing a chain stitch. So essentially it's a stitch which is going to look like a chain. So you want to push your needle through just a tiny tiny bit I didn't even know the measurement a few millimeters and then push your needle back through the middle of the stitch you just did so you'll end up with around two threads and one thread as the needle comes through the middle and then you want to go ahead move your needle along a little bit more and you push that back through pulling your thread all the way through again and then push your needle back through the middle of the stitch you just did again. So once again, you have two pieces of thread on one side and one piece of thread on the other. And you should start to see like this chain forming. So I did this for both ears and I kind of just went round and followed the shape of the ear. So I did like a semi-circle shape. And here is a like quick time lapse of me just doing the right ear so if you need any help with like chain stitches please have a look on google and youtube there's hundreds of videos i don't have a lot of embroidery videos on my channel but if this is something that you're interested in please let me know in the comments below and i will think of some more fun projects for embroidery so yeah this is just the first ear and you will end up having something that looks like this so you should be able to see like the chain there now and then this is how the bear kind of looked once I'd done on both sides so I actually left my thread hanging out because I was going to stitch the heart next anyway so I just left it if you don't have enough thread don't worry about that you can always re-thread just make sure you tie off on the back and then you can start again so I stuck my heart down over the bear's tummy and I didn't really need to do this but I decided to do it because at this stage I don't think I decided what I was going to stitch next but also it helps keep it in place while sewing otherwise it could kind of move around so I decided to do the chain stitch on the middle of the heart so I kind of like followed the shape of the heart but like half a centimeter away from the edge so once again I did the same I just put my needle through and then I pulled it back through the middle to create that chain and I did this all the way around the inside of the heart it's completely up to you kind of what style you use and you don't even have to do the embroidery for this project you could completely skip it and still end up with like a really cute looking bear so if you have any names for this bear please let me know in the comments I don't know what to call the bear at all oh I'm rhyming again <laughs> I have no idea. I'm really bad with coming up with names for things, I think. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you have any ideas. I will be interested to know. So yeah, I continue doing the chain stitch. And just to show you there, that's kind of how it turned out. I will show you again in a sec. But after I'd finished that, of course, I tied off the back, just making a few knots so that it doesn't come loose. And then I cut off the excess thread once again with my pink spotty scissors so here is how it's looking now so I then went ahead and stuck down the paws that we cut out not long ago over the heart so now it's really really coming together although he's looking a bit creepy because he doesn't have any eyes so the next thing I did was cut out some eyes from some black felt and basically I just freehand cut 
two circles for this. I didn't even draw them, so feel free to draw them out if you need to. And then I stuck them down with more fabric glue. I then added a mouth. I kind of wish I didn't do this part, but there we go, I did do it. So I did the same chain stitch and I did like two stitches down from the middle of the nose and then I worked my way over to the left. So I kind of like did a rounded shape and I think I did about three or four of these stitches and then I came back through like the middle bottom and then went over to the right hand side again about three or four of these stitches just to like complete the mouth. I, yeah, I wish I hadn't done this, but it's done now and it still looks okay, but I think it kind of looked quite cute without having a mouth, but yeah, let me know what you think. Do you prefer it with or without? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. So this is how it looks with the mouth. And then I went ahead and like shaded. So these, or this is a chalk pastel that I'm holding and you can use this to like add shading to felt. So I put this colour all over and I know it's looking a bit like wild at the moment, but don't worry, it will all work itself out, you have to trust the process. And I also grabbed like a ready pinky shade to add some like colour to the cheeks and also just a bit to the heart as well. And then I used a dry paintbrush to kind of like blend in the chalk and I also actually used my fingertips off camera so if you don't have a paintbrush you can always use your fingertips as well just to kind of work it in a bit and blend it a bit more so it wasn't like so harsh basically and just to bring it out a bit so it wasn't so flat. Next I added these heart sequins so I have like silver and pink ones so I put two silver ones one for each eye and I actually used super glue for these um, because obviously sequins are kind of like smooth and fabric glue I don't think would work well for this so yeah I opted for super glue and then I added some of the pink ones just around the bear now we're ready to basically finish off the hoop so you want to thread your needle and then start at the top and you want to pull this through your felt and kind of like fold the felt together as I'm doing here. So you're kind of making these creases and putting the needle through and then pulling the thread through. So it's kind of going to end up like one of those drawstring bags or a drawstring like makeup pouch. So you want to go all the way around making sure that you're like folding and pulling your needle through then when you get back to your first hole push your needle back through that same hole and then you should end up with your tail end and then your like needle end of the thread and you can pull these pieces together and it should like gather up your material at the back so it's just like a bit tighter and neater and then you can knot it so I kind of also pulled it as I was knotting it as well just to make sure that it was nice and tight and then you can go ahead and just cut off any excess. Then you want to grab a piece of felt. So I'm just using the same brown colour that the bear is, you can use any colour you like but as this is going to be the back it probably isn't that, like, that much of a big deal whichever colour you use. So you want to draw around your hoop once again and then go ahead and cut that out. So I kind of like misjudged it but it's got that like flat bit at the top and there's no big deal it's just the back so it like covers most of it anyway and then you want to just put some fabric glue around the whole edge of the piece you just cut out and then press that on to the back of your embroidery hoop So here is how the final hoop turned out. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you like this tutorial. Would you like to see more of these kind of tutorials? I would love to know. And if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching and happy Valentine's Day. Bye.